Uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the part two of Night Manager is going to be out on the 30th of June. Uh, good evening, uh, friends. Thank you for such a great introduction and uh, thank you for remembering uh, Nayak, uh, one of my favorite films, Shankar, uh, director whom I admire. Thank you, Fiki. Uh, thank you, all of you all. Uh, Sandeep for making this happen, Shobita, Aditya, all of you all. And thank you, uh, Disney uh, plus Star and the entire team, the producers and all. And uh, I'm really privileged and honored to be here. Uh, it's a great feeling and coming to your question, how did I approach? I would be lying to you if I say that I didn't see the show or I didn't, was not inspired by or I was uh, not a fan of you, Laurie. Obviously, I'd seen him in house and then uh, I saw the night manager and I was completely taken aback by his performance. And uh, <clears throat> of course, you know, uh, you know, we both are two different people, looking people, uh, presence, uh, personalities are different, I don't know. He's done a lot of theater. He's been working since many, many years, done television. He's, uh, you know, if you see his old uh, television shows, he's a great comic actor. Yeah. You know, he's brilliant, absolutely. And um, great voice, uh, you know, and uh, I said, na mere paas wo voice hai, na wo personality hai, na wo aankhe hai, you know, and he just looks the part of Rupa. So I said, will I be able to put it off? And, uh, you know, the way I am, you know, I always, I just, I go with instinct, with gut. And instinctively I felt it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer, it's a great role. Uh, you know, the entire team is fantastic and, and um, I just said yes and then I started thinking about it. I heard the script, uh, what Sandeep and his uh, writers had uh, created. Uh, we heard it in one go. I just loved it, the Indian, the Hindi adaptation. And then I start, you know, it just, you know, the roles and characters don't happen overnight, you know, it's like you keep on thinking about it and, you know, and it just till you face the camera, even when you face the camera in the first few days, sometimes you go right, sometimes so it takes a little time and you keep on uh, understanding. Sometimes you release the character after the character. You know, so, uh, but you just go with the flow and that's what I did and, um, and, um, and I'm so happy that people have liked the show that, you know, and uh, love the character of Shailendra Singh, Shailendra Rungta, Singh Bol Rama, Shailendra Rungta. He is uh, Shailendra Singh Rungta, so you're not entirely wrong. Um, but I, I was more curious about the, the villain part of it. Like, how did you say? Because we don't see him doing anything evil. No, I don't look at anything about villain or hero or, you know, from the time I started my career, if you see the films I've done, the kind of people I've worked with, directors I've worked with, and if you, you know, I did a Telugu film, I did a Kannada film, uh, then I did uh, MS Satyush Kaan Kaan Se Guzar I'm sure people have, I don't know if they, I want to educate them, but that's one of my first films I did with Satyush Saab. And where I almost played a very <clears throat> kind of a character who's uh, trying to find himself and ultimately becomes uh, the way the father is, a complete capitalist. So I've done weird st stuff from the beginning of my career. So I don't go what is, you know, villain, hero. I like my role. I like the people. I feel it's going to be a great journey. Um, and I just say yes to it. And I, you know, I, so that's what it is. People who were seeing me as a hero, so Joe role mil rete, you know, beggars can't be choosers. When I started my career, first decade, obviously they were choosing me. Then I started choosing some films. I had, I came to a situation where I could choose films. And then, um, I, you know, for me, it's always the director, the filmmaker, the writer, the writing, what's on paper, and then I take my decision. Yeah, hero, ho, villain, or character, or supporting role, or kuch bhi ho. I just do it. Yeah. This, uh, the Ravan of the show, did that have any bearing on how you approach it? Because he's called as the Ravan, right, throughout. Like, did you, did you take any inspiration from, like, Ravan? Yeah, yeah, Mohat ka sodhagar Ravan, yeah, no, no. You know, uh, <clears throat> obviously, when I read, you know, when I was really researching for the role and, and I was, how did it go about it? So I was reading all the interviews, all the articles, of everybody trying to find something on the YouTube, something, you know, if they're Indian, who are these, uh, if, if I can find someone 
who is an arms dealer in India. But I couldn't find anything. Okay. I just couldn't find anything. So the book is fantastic. The, the writing was so terrific. And then I used my own imagination. And of course, you, Laurie, was there for inspiration. You know, all these things, keeping all these in mind and, and slowly, steadily. I was just, you know, what happens is, what is the role, the character, and something about your personality also is there. Yeah. You know, it's always there what you are as, and then the character. So it's, it's a combination of both. And what you see is uh, me as a person also and me as a character also. There are a lot of things which are me in that film, yeah. like what I would, I am, and certain things, how I'm a family man, the certain things, how I react to my, you know, my friendships, uh, my passion for my, my, for work. So I, you know, and my passion. So it, you just, Use all these memories, certain thing, things in what you have in, and use it in the character and use when you perform. It's a long yeah. process, it's too long. Uh, hi guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I can take any credit for, for those changes. I think that credit has to go to the writers, to Sandeep. Uh, but I think those decisions were taken uh, at a script level. Um, I think the decision to change uh, episode one and uh, have it be a young girl uh, was the writer's and Sandeep's call. And I, I, I think it was a great one uh, in hindsight. I think everyone seems to really feel like the first episode um, you know, really anchors you emotionally uh, sufficiently to then make you be on the side of the protagonist. And then you're with him you know, after you felt that. Uh, so yeah, I think as an actor, you work with what you're given. Um, and uh, these decisions weren't mine. I think it helped that I wasn't smoking since it's been eight years that I've quit and uh, just it's a pain to have to like smoke on set and then not so thank you Sandeep for not putting me through that. Though yeah, every now and then a sly cigarette is uh, <laughs> in the name of work uh, is welcome but no. Um, I think for me I was, I was inspired by the original, by the original performances. I think all the performances in the show were great um, and as an actor um, you um, you want to be inspired by that, but you don't want to um, have to uh, go. I don't. I didn't want to relook at it. I didn't want to go back to it again and again. Um, I, I felt like Sandeep and the writers had done enough to make it their own to adapt it, and I think that's one of the things that people are noticing a lot about the show. It feels like it's it's not a copy paste job, you know. To, uh, is, that's an understatement. I think they've really managed to make it feel completely grounded over here and made it feel fully realized to the Indian subcontinent. Um, and, um, and, and for me, I had enough, in, enough stuff on the page to draw from. And by virtue of just staying true to what he and the writers gave me, it ended up being different. But I didn't approach it with that as the thing in the forefront of my mind. But still, Tom Hiddleston, big shoes. So how did you, were you intimidated? Big shoes, absolutely big shoes, but not something that, I mean, as actors, we have enough stuff to lose sleep over. Uh, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're jumping on set in front of 200 people every day, trying to, you know, do your stuff. It's, it's tough as it is. So the idea, I think, as much as you can is to declutter and to uh, try and remove as much as the unnecessary anxieties uh, that are not going to serve you in any way. Um, you know, I was completely cognizant of the fact that this was um, a very, uh, you know, the titular role and so on and so forth and, it, and, and there was a lot to do. Um, uh, but yeah, I had enough stuff to make me anxious. I didn't have to think about Tom, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, Shobit, I'm really glad you're here because without you, this is a manual. It's just men talking. Um, and also, like, I'm really glad that nobody would have taken up pictures also. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 can I share yes, something? Sir. Very interesting because there are a lot of people from the industry and media where. So I was in uh, London very quickly and we were uh, uh, promoting Slumdog Millionaire. So I was sitting with a team of Pathe. And he says, ke, kya hai? even if the President Obama, if he comes alone, there won't be so many photo ops. He might be on the second or third page, but if he comes with his wife, there'll be, you know, it'll be a front page news. So, I mean, photo to and she speaks so well. Even Michelle speaks so well. So over to you, yeah. our no Michelle. No pressure. Obama. 
Shobita, I'm glad you exist because what you've done um, to the landscape is that you play a, a lot of South Indian characters. Your, your name is Kaveri in this. So um, uh, also you embrace your accent and uh, here you play a, um, a woman with mystery, right? There's so little we get into her real self because she says, uh, I don't want to see anyone, uh, uh, I don't want anyone to see me cry. Um, so how did you approach this, this, how do you create a mystery, how do you create mystery about this character who the audience is not supposed to know too much about, but slowly discover who she is? Because you get very little footage and in that you need to like capture it. So how do you approach this uh, as an actor and your whole persona, real life persona becoming the character? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is such a such an august gathering, so many intelligent people and uh, with my team saying all these nice things about me, I'm absolutely terrified <laughs> about sounding like an idiot. Uh, I, I mean, Kaveri is a river in the south, but I don't think that has any connection to me playing someone from south in this. It's, it's not tied up. Uh, I think the connection with the name has more to do with water and, and what it represents, you know, water can be still, but it can be very deep. And so often, the currents can change um, from day to night, from, like her life is very turbulent, much like water, but there's also, a, it's, it's serene. So we thought there was an interesting parallel, and, and I really liked the name. I thought it represents her quite beautifully. Um, as for, uh, I, I don't look at characters in terms of how much footage they have. I don't think it's the most significant thing at all. Uh, uh, in the larger arc of the character, there are a lot of answers. Answers m should not be given, they should be arrived at, is what I feel. And I feel like with her character, we know and we see as much as we need to. And sometimes you want to lean a little bit closer to hear her better to know what lies simmering beneath the surface. And I think that's, that's really nice writing. So I didn't feel the need for more. They, they, it was enough. Um, and I, th I don't think mystery is created. Uh, I think um, when, when you say as much as you have to, and, and I, guess, I guess it's not a blabbering character, so it was, it was, it was easy uh, to retain that. And much credit to the way it was written, the way it was shot. And, and, and the way uh, the primary characters interact with her. So how, I, how you are with me is very different from how with your, you are with your partner, your parent, your friend. But the minute, uh, the minute I sh like one sees you in all these perspectives, they get a better understanding of who you are, right? But if Kaveri is seen only from the perspective of her lover, her partner, and from this, special creature, you don't really know her from any other perspective. So maybe holding back is what gives her that mystery. So uh, in these workshops, I, I'm very curious to see uh, how, how did you uh, crack the, the, the characters in the course of this workshop uh, in terms of interpersonal relationships between the characters, like um, uh, for example, between you and um, Aditya. How did you say, what is the level of bromance that you would have? Like, was that part of the workshop? Was it part of the script? How did you arrive at like a chemistry? Because it's about, you're the antagonist, he's the protagonist, and you both needed to have a chemistry because without, because the relationship is again, interestingly phrased as R Ravan and Vibhishan. So it's almost like he's, he could have been your brother, right? So how do actors, uh, interpret that sort of uh, chemistry from the script and like say, this is how we're gonna do it. Um, how much intimacy is uh, the right chemistry? I think um, horses for courses, I mean every, uh, I don't think there's any one right way. Uh, I think the way that Sandeep approached, uh, I think Anil sir's and my equation on screen is he, I don't think we met at all. Oh. Yeah, um, I think he preferred it for us to uh, just, get there on set and um, of course I think Anil sir and me were for, like you know I, I was fortunate enough to work with Anil sir on Malang so we had worked before and I think that's why Sandeep felt confident enough that we had that professional understanding was already there 
uh, and that it might have been better for the characters to just uh, just kind of meet uh, meet in the moment, right, Sandeep? I think the way we approached it is like it's a boxing match. Okay. There are two boxers, and both need to prepare individually. So AK sir and we would prepare his whole world of friends, family. So AK sir would uh, have his workshop with uh, Shobita, with uh, Dada, uh, Saswata. While his workshop was the only little thing which we did. Of course, we had moments with the girl. With, with, Just with, a little bit with Safina. With, with Safina uh, and a very, li very little with Nasir, with, uh, with Tilotama. With Tilotama, yeah. So the idea was it was preparation of two different worlds and then see them both explode when they both meet. You know, both don't know what the other's prepping for. You know, so uh, it's theoretically beautiful. I hope it works on screen and it looks good. Yeah, but I think one thing I, that was also uh, interesting uh, was that uh, we ended up workshopping a couple of sticky uh, scenes, stuff that we were not so sure of. That I think uh, we really benefited from the workshop process by going in there and exploring those scenes. And it helps so much when you're not on the clock and the whole world doesn't depend on that working on that day. And that's one learning that I had that, I mean, it's all very well to workshop, but it's important to know how to workshop. And I think that's something that I learned from Sandeep on this because I, um, you know, we were able to explore scenes uninhibited and finally, at least if not, find it, get closer to the answer uh, after those uh, experiences. So, um, I say your character has no reason to hate him, right? But his character has enough history, like because he knows what you did. But you have no reason, at least in the first four episodes, to hate his character. Your character has no reason. So you're ob obviously there's a certain warmth with which you're, you're approaching the role. You're not treating him like an outsider in the first place. You're in fact doing the opposite. You're like including him more and more um, uh, into the uh, uh, family. Um, so how, 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 how does it work? Like, because you know that your character has done something extremely horrible to him because you've read the script. And yet, um, on screen, the audience sh shouldn't be aware of the history. You should let him into your life. You should be welcoming. Um, how did you uh, f plan that out? Because he's not going to give you back your positivity. Because his character is not going to allow him to give that positivity back. He's given two mics to Shobita. Sandeep. He's always been very partial. <laughs> when he hugs her, he hugs her for a few, quite a few minutes. With me, he just shakes his hand. You do mics also, huh? <laughs> you know, I think my mind was there. <laughs> uh, so, uh, obviously, you know, this character, Shalindar Ungta, is a, is, a, is a gambler. He goes with instinct. And he trusts people. But still, uh, trusts them easily. And... But the way I imagine, wo kisi ko milta hai, kisi ko dekhta hai, bota yaar, isme kuch baat hai. There is something about it, and that's what I am in real life also, uh, to a certain extent, which I could relate to. That if I, I've gone wrong also, I've been betrayed. Uh, you know, everybody's betrayed. You know, you most of the time you're right in your instincts of people, but sometimes you go wrong. So I feel uh, and. As, as you said, that I've read the script, but overall, when you go on the set, you don't remember the entire script. You are going stay, stay in the moment, uh, and the scene given, and you know, you can't remember seven hours of the entire script. You know, uh, it's there at the back of the mind, but you forget about it, and you're in the moment. So I, that's the reason I'm warm, and because I feel. Is my bath hai kuch? Jo hai, you know, ultimately. So that's the reason that I'm nice to him and I was not feeling any kind of. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a gambler's instinct. Ye kaam ka admi hai. Aur wo baad mein kaam ka nahi nikalta, wo baad mein pata chalega. But till that time, I know that this uh, is younger and he trusts him, he trusts his girlfriend also. But dheeri dheeri pata chalta ke sab karwar kar rahe hain, you know? And uh, this is what happens here. Yeah. Why did you do this to me? Yeah? Sir, sir. Why money, did you? Money, it's all about money. Huh? <laughs> Just because I don't have six packs, huh? 
So that you have. <laughs> Huh? Huh? And it's not Don't do this. Uh, you know? Next, next season, I'm going to have six packs. So I want you back. <laughs> and it's not a single point of betrayal. I think there are two betrayers here. Uh, here's betrayer number two. We haven't seen much of yet. See, so far there's been uh, nothing of the sort. If you look at it, so I think uh, no spoilers. Uh. <laughs> but you but are still infiltrating. There, there are scenes in the first part also where. Little bit. Ah, little bit, yeah. A little bit. Asa mat koro, yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> okay, just to like move away from spoiler territory, I want to go back to what I was… Oh, there's no spoiler at all. The betrayal I part mean, could be perceived by some but yes, of course, yeah. yeah Why not? Yeah, yeah. Betrayal, you saw, they were yeah, in the, near the, pool, near the pool, pool side, they are there, aankho aankho mein baate ho rahi hai. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Absolutely. Aankho aankho mein baate hai. Representation, that's what I wanted to, that's the first, the… Sorry, yeah. little, no, that's life mein thoda fun hona bho zori hai. Absolutely. Can't take everything very seriously. Yes, yes. yes. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Friends, can't make it very… Have you heard of uh, Tenali Raman? Yeah. So Tenali is a place, it exists, I'm from there. Oh, okay. I grew up in Vizag. Okay. I speak Telugu at home, I think in Telugu. Uh, I moved to Mumbai after my high school okay. and I speak Hindi now. Uh, it's been a good 13, 14 years in Mumbai. Another whatever. So my life, so I don't know where home is. And we are all products of the experiences we've had, but we are also products of the experiences we aspire to have. So I don't think any person represents one fixed thing. You are not just Chennai. You are also this guy sitting in power in a suit asking me a question. It's very separate from the reality of North Madras. So I... Arre, don't clap and all. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel... I told you all. Even I, I said it. I, I said, said it first. These guys... That's why she's got two mics, you know? <laughs> so I just feel that identity is porous. There are no boundaries. It's not defined. Uh, who I was a couple of years ago is very, very different from the person I am now. And I'm pretty positive. I, I would be fortunate if I am a different person to some extent in some time to come. And it means that I'm interacting with life with an open heart and I'm absorbing whatever's good and, and I'm changing with the times. And as for characters, as a child watching cinema, I watched Telugu cinema, I watched Tamil cinema, I watched Hindi cinema, and um, all I remember was performances that reached the heart, jokes that landed. It didn't, I didn't even speak Hindi when I was a child. So I don't think uh, representation necessarily, um, I, 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 it should not be taken out of context. I'm genuinely very, very interested in submitting to a larger story that touches the heart. There are films, silent films with no language. I don't know what they're representing, except the truth of human emotions, right? There's fantasy films. I love Harry Potter. What are they representing? I don't know. So I think films, characters should represent sentiments, should represent feelings, our past and the future we aspire to have. Identity should not be a fixed entity. Uh, you see, I feel, uh, I think we were casted not as stars in this film. I feel very, very strongly. I say we were casted as we suited the roles. We were casted as actors, actors. Like when I did Vos Saad Din or I did Mashal or I did all the films which I did earlier, Karma or the, uh, the Mr. India. The, the, you know, all the lines, even when I did Slumdog. Yeah. Or AK versus AK. AK versus AK. 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 Yeah, because, you know, they were all were written with some other actors, other actors in the mind, you know. So, matter of fact, I've seen to it that when I feel that something is written with me in mind, most of the time I don't do that film. Okay. Because it looks repeated, it looks fake, and at least I. Obviously, there'll, there'll always be, as I said, for every uh, actor or anyone, there's always some personality, you know, uh, and his, the way he is will come in that character, 
every actor, no matter if it's, it is Robert De Niro or it is Al Pacino, the greatest actors, but there will be something about them. There are personal things which will be there, which we don't know because we don't know them personally. But most of the times, I feel uh, the, the scripts which have come to me in the last more than four decades, I've seen to it that they are something which I've never done. Lines which I've never spoken. That's what attracts me. If I find something which I feel I have done most of the time I pass that film. At least I've tried to do that. And sometimes it's been very uh, detrimental to my career, to my star image. That you are such a big star, you are doing When I was doing Ishwar, I had lines of successful films. But I did Ishwar. When I did AK vs AK, I think all the actors called me and said, how could you do this role? Where most of the time I am talking about my failures, that I am not a star, I am finished. You're roasting yourself. No, it's not. People don't understand that. There's very few niche people understand that he's roasting himself. But there is a most of the audience will feel you know, we imagine him as the Mr. India, we imagine him as the Lakhan, we imagine him, you know, whatever he is. But that's the journey I have taken. And even I feel every actor in this, it might be Saswata Chatterjee, or it is Aditya, or it is Shobita, or uh, Tilotma, or Ravi Behel, they all were casted because this, somewhere we felt that they suited the role. There's something about them, and you've never seen them doing something like that. I think that's the success of Night Manager. That's the reason I think somewhere people have connected with this show. And it's become, uh, you know, people have liked the first part and hopefully they will like the second part even more. And uh, so that's the thing. So I don't think so. There were some other, so many actors were doing it earlier also. You, you know, in the, I, do, I don't want to get into that. And it came to us. And we did it, you know. Am I right, sir? Absolutely. I just want to keep doing good work that uh, more and more people see and uh, good films. Yeah, so I mean the aspiration is to do as much good work that you can do, uh, watched by as wide an audience. And if that brings stardom, then so be it. Yeah, yeah. But you look at yourself as an actor first, not a star. I mean, I approach everything from the point of view where I try and service the character as truthfully as I can and that I don't look at it as how... I should be doing it or I don't look at it the other way around in terms of, oh, this is what people will expect of me. Let me give them what they have seen and liked and appreciated. Let me give them a little more of that. That's, that's, uh, that's, that is a recipe for disaster because there are only so many tricks you have in your bag as, you know, as myself. And I don't want to become a, you know, like a, a parody of myself. Uh, you know, that's not the idea. The idea is to keep stretching yourself and trying to do things that you haven't done before in ways that you haven't done before. So yeah, I would like to approach everything first as an actor, and if stardom happens, uh, that is a, a welcome byproduct. That's great. Bonus. <laughs> See, because when you start your career, you're not. I do, at least I can talk to, about myself. That user calm mil jaye yar, koi role de de yar, kuch kaam de de yar, you know. And you're so grateful to the filmmaker and the director. At least he's giving me work. Then you do the character. And the characters become very popular. If actors feel that they have become very popular, then they're delusional. That is one of the reasons, I think, which is very important for youngsters to understand, that ultimately it's the characters, it's the writers, it's the team, what do you, they see on screen. That's make them what they are. And I think that's what I've done. Oh, 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 oh,